Paris has a problem. It is only 105 square kilometers in size with a population of about 2 million people. In this area, one can literally travel anywhere on their bicycle or via subway. But Paris is also the heart of a much larger area called the Paris region or Ile de France which is 12,000 square kilometers in size and boasts another 10.2 million residents. The problem is that in order for anyone anywhere in this greater Paris area to reach other parts of the region via public transit, they have to travel via a combination of bus and subway and must pass via central Paris. This made the Paris region in general heavily reliant on cars and the subway system almost useless for at least 6 million residents because simply going from north to south or east to west takes too much time. Since one must first head to the center of Paris to transfer to another train to get to their destination. As a result, the city has decided to double the length of its existing subway network via a $36 billion mega project called the Grand Paris Express, which is one of Europe's largest ongoing transport projects. What is the Grand Paris Express project? How will it solve Paris's public transport problems? And what are the details and how is it being constructed? In 2010, the Paris region authorities created a publicly owned agency called the Société du Grand Paris to oversee the development of the Grand Paris Express. The goal of the organization is to oversee the development and construction of 200 kilometers of track on four new fully automated subway lines dubbed lines number 15, 16, 17, and 18 in addition to the extension of lines 11 and 14 and 68 new stations as well as seven technical centers. 90% of these lines are underground at depths of up to more than 52 meters, which is quite deep, and the remaining 10% are on the ground level. Since then, the agency has divided work on the new network into many different packages and awarded contracts to different companies that coordinate their work via the magic of BIM technology. Initially, the cost was supposed to be around 19 billion euros. However, as of 2023, the budget overruns and further enhancements to the project put the final cost at around 36 billion euros. The first part of the new colossal and intriguing network, the extension of Line 14, is due to open in time for the Paris Olympics in July 2024. The remainder of the network is being completed in phases and will open in stages and is expected to be fully operational by 2030. As we briefly explained earlier, the Paris region, which is also known as Ile de France, which in English means the Isle of France, is the most populous of the 18 regions of France with an official estimated population of about 12.3 million residents. The core of this region is the French capital, Paris. The region is made up of eight administrative departments, Paris, Essonne, Eau-de-Saint, Saint-Saint-Denis, Saint-Emarne, Val-de-Marne, Val-d'Oise, and Yvelines. Once the Grand Paris Express network is complete, not only will the size of the existing Paris Metro double, but all of the administrative departments will also become connected via a comprehensive public transit network that eliminates the need for millions of residents to travel through the Paris city center. The project is also destined to transform travel within the Paris region by providing quick and comfortable transportation access to city attractions and amenities which would contribute to a happier, more socially cohesive community. Another goal of this project is to sort of recalibrate Paris by lessening the inequality between the poor east and the rich west parts of the city, in addition to reducing car use which would contribute to the reduction of millions of tons of CO2 emission per year. Let's now take a look at the project in detail. The project includes the extension of the existing Line 14 of the Paris Metro towards the north and south and the construction of four new lines, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 
All the stations will have a distinctive architectural design, and a great focus is invested in providing comfort for riders as they will be easily able to connect to the existing Rezo Express Regional tramways, metro, and bus stations. Many of the stations will feature retail shops, among other amenities, and exclusive secure parking spaces for bicycles and cars. The reason the project kicked off with the extension of Line 14 has to do with the fact that it is considered the backbone of the network, and thus extending it towards its north and south was a rather urgent matter. This new Line 14 extension features a nearly 6-kilometer-long tunnel that came online in 2020 with four new stations from San Lazar to Marie de saint -Ouen. It is also being extended further north of Marie de saint ouen to Saint-Denis-Pleyel to connect with the upcoming lines 15, 16, and 17 by 2024. The Line 14 South Extension features a 14-kilometer-long tunnel from Olympiade to Orly Airport, seven new stations, a new train maintenance and storage site in Morangi, as well as 12 service structures, which will be built 800 meters apart. Additionally, it will provide metro access to Orly Airport, France's second airport. The 75 kilometer long line 15 will form a much needed metro loop around Paris and is divided into east, west, and south sections. Work on this line commenced in 2016. It includes a 23-kilometer-long east section, a 22.4-kilometer west section, and a 33-kilometer-long south section. As for the Grand Paris Line 16, it is a 46.67-kilometer-long line with 10 stations between Saint-Denis-Pleyel to Noisy-Champs. Part of it will be operational in 2026 and the rest in 2028. Line 17 is 26.5 kilometers long with nine metro stations between Saint-Denis-Pleyel and Le Méniemelo and will cover 13 municipalities via its north and south sections. Line 18 is 35 kilometers long and features both underground tracks and approximately 13 kilometers of ground level elevated tracks. It will have 10 metro stations between Orly Airport Station to Versailles Chantier along with a maintenance and storage center. The existing Line 11 of the Paris Metro will also be extended eastward to rosny sous bois and include six new stations. It will be open in 2024. New advanced energy-efficient electric trains will feature an attractive contemporary design, electric service braking, climate controls, and automated driverless operations. And that's not all. To make sure that the riders are very comfortable, the trains will feature LED lighting, lights beneath the seats, USB sockets, internet connection, and space for wheelchairs and strollers. For safety, all compartments will feature video surveillance. Let's now take a look at the construction methods used in this amazing mega project. The project was divided into sections, each about 3.5 kilometers long, in order to speed up delivery and reduce the amount of time tunnel entrances and access shafts needed to stay open. BIM technology was and is still being utilized throughout the project since its inception. In fact, the Grand Paris Express project represented the largest project to ever utilize BIM technology. This technology enabled the engineers to produce a high-quality, ultra-detailed 3D digital model of the entire network, covering the entire 12,000 square kilometers Paris region area, including the surface, geological strata, and over a million buildings in and around the project. It also allows all construction crews, engineers, and project office managers to monitor all progress in real time and coordinate steps accordingly. The average depth of the new metro tunnels is about 30 meters, which is twice the depth of the original network. They had to go that deeper in order to place the metro on the city's stable chalk bed. The Saint-Maur station is an exception and will be 52 meters below the surface, the deepest in the whole of France. They had to make this station extra deep because it is located after a point where the Line 15 tunnel passes under the River Marne and at a point where it sits underneath the water table in saturated rock. Special measures such as waterproofing and very deep reinforced piles were implemented. 
As we speak, 18 German-made giant tunnel boring machines, TBMs, and two Chinese-made ones are drilling away hundreds of tons of rock and soil every day below the Paris region. These massive, super-long TBMs are also fed curved reinforced concrete slabs that are used to line the walls of the tunnels, resulting in rigid, strong metro tunnels that will last more than a century. Do you live in Paris? What do you think of this project and how will it affect the life of Parisians and the region? Let us know in the comments section and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.